lumpy. Needs more mashing. Anyone want a taste? In a second, Strawberry. I've got one more bow to curl. Oh. Anyone here good at uncurling? I would if I could, but I'm wrapped tight myself. This is going to be the best first frost ever. Just wait until I wrap my gift in this. Oh, excuse me, girls. I don't wish to intrude on your get-together. You mean give together <laughs> <laughs> Don't go, Mr. Longface. Come on in. We're just finishing up making our wrapping paper. And I need to mash the applesauce some more. Oh, if only I had a good masher. Would you like a taste, Mr. Longface? Oh, no, thank you, Miss Shortcake. I don't care for applesauce, sorry to say. Uh, just some tea, please. Here you go. Thank you very much. Ah, perfect. I noticed that the whole town seems to be gearing up for something special today. Do you know what that would be? He doesn't know. It's First Frost. First Frost? Never heard of it. Is that like Second Helpings? Oh, Muffin Crumbs, I forgot! You haven't been in Berry Bitty City long enough to know what First Frost is. Wow! It's his first First Frost! <laughs> Why, it's just the biggest day ever! Actually, astronomically speaking, it's one of the smallest days, in that it's one of the shortest days due to the sun rising late and setting early. Uh, being winter and all. <sighs> As you were saying. When winter comes, there's a huge special glimmerberry harvest. Everyone carves berry lanterns. And we have a glimmerberry ball. It signifies the first sign of winter time of year. It's tradition. And you give presents. <laughs> oh, no. That's just a fun little custom we girls have. The Berrykins and the Bumblebees and everyone have First Frost traditions. Giving presents is ours. Secret presents. We each pick a name of one another and then we secretly give a gift to that person. Without them seeing which of us gave it. Last year, I got a new yellow and pink comforter. And I got a mile-long scarf with sparkles. Leg warmers for dancing on cold days. A beautiful chest set with multiple modeling clay pieces. A retractable step ladder. Oh, Can't wait. wait. Yeah. Well, get this yeah. me too. Well, that sounds wonderful. I think Mr. Longface might be feeling left out. Let's invite him to be part of our secret gifting. That's so yeah. sweet. Yes, yeah. let's. Mr. Longface? Would you like to join our gift-giving tradition? Oh, my. I really don't think... Well, you needn't... Please say yes, Mr. Longface. We'd love it if you were part of our little tradition. Well, then, I'd be honored. Yay! <laughs> Great. But could I ask a favor? May we borrow your hat? My... my hat? Okay. Everyone, drop your name into the hat. You too, Mr. Longface. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> around and around, our names all go. Who gets whose is a secret that no one may know. Oh, I wonder who I got. Me too. Me three. And now for you, Mr. Longface. <laughs> Lemon! Oh, she's going to love this! One thousand and one ways to keep your books organized. <laughs> this is gonna be the best first frost gift ever! A whole chapter on how to stack books vertically! Ten chapters on how to reorganize your books after they've fallen off a shelf! No, no, no. I have to give this gift to Lemon. It's her gift. Don't let anyone see you. Don't let anyone see you. <laughs> so, I was thinking maybe the <gasps> green stripe would look better. Shh! Did you hear 
hear something? Uh, no. Oh, I thought I heard something. Yeah. is the one I gave Lemon. Oh, I wonder what it is! Wow, a book! A book about... organizing books? Chapter 72, Big Books and Little Books, Together on One Shelf? Not as impossible as it seems? Oh, what am I gonna do with this? But it is the biggest first frost gift ever. I got it! This is the perfect secret gift for my secret gifty. Plum! <laughs> She's gonna <laughs> love it! <laughs> so, you know, I just thought and thought about what to give my secret gifty. Mr. Longface. Something he would really, really like. <laughs> Thanks, Pupcake. And then it hit me. A plant for the entrance to his croquet club. And I know just the perfect plant. Oh, oops, I almost forgot my rope. <laughs> wow! That's the most ginormous first frost gift I've ever seen! I knew that was a good choice for Plum! Oh, nice! A book! Chapter 137, Sorting Your Encyclopedias. The A to Z of how to and how not to. Hmm... Maybe not exactly the most must-have gift I've ever received for First Frost. I know! My secret gifty Orange likes to sort things. I bet she'd love this! <gasps> oh, yes, yes. Indeed, yes. It is getting chilly these days, Miss Jadybug. Uh, you know, I have an extra hat you could borrow. Very warm. Hello? Well, hello! <laughs> Aren't you the most wonderfully oversized first frost gift? Grab and move. Grab and move. Here it is! Mr. Longface will be thrilled when he sees his gift. And I'm gonna get it for him. Ugh. No matter what. Ta-da! Raspberry will love a gift uh, this big. She could use it as a footstool when she sews. Or to hide a refrigerator. I did it! Oh, Mr. Longface is gonna love you, little plant. Huh? 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 Phew! Oh, muffin crumbs. Ooh, hibiscus always makes my nose itch. Okay, let her down. <laughs> Blueberry is going to flip over getting such a great big book. She loves books. Oh, hey, thanks, guys. I wonder who that could be. Hello? Is anybody out there? Wow! That's the most 
most incredibly gigantic, enormously splendiferous first frost gift I've ever seen! <gasps> Just what I always wanted! Oh, look at this! And this! Oh, cross-referencing my date of printing! Who would have thought of that? Wait a second. This is the book I gave to Lemon. Didn't she like it? And how did it get back to me? I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Secret gift or no secret gift. So, Lemon, um, how about this first frost, huh? It was as first frosty as a first frost can be, I thought. Very firsty, as a matter of fact. And our presents. Oh, I've already given, yes I did. First frost thing in the morning, actually. Really? Wow. Well, um, not me. I haven't given my secret gift yet. So you couldn't be my secret giftie, so you can tell me what you got, because I didn't give it to you. <laughs> right? What? What? I said that I got a very big gift, but it wasn't quite right for me, and it was too big to store in the swan, so I gave it to Plum, who has more space in her studio! Plum! Aha! Oh, oh, where are you going? Uh, you haven't been rinsed! Very good. And one, two, three, one, two, three, twirl, two, three, twirl, two, three. So, two, three, um, two, three. Did you get your secret gift, two, three? Well, two, three. Really? Two, three. I don't have it anymore. Two, three. One, two, three. What? Two, three. I kind of felt my gifty would have more use for it. Two, three. Since she's always sorting stuff. Two, three. Oh, no. I gave it away. <laughs> now you'll know who my secret gifty is. You mean orange? Sorting? Yeah. <gasps> Don't worry, I won't tell. Where are you going? We still have the foxtrot to practice. Oh, it was tense, I'm telling you. I zigzagged past the cafe, ducked into the bushes, sneaked through the gazebo, hid under the bridge, doubled back, and I was there. Nobody ever saw me. And then I carefully set my gift down, knocked on the door, and ran. And what was your gift? Well, it was something I felt my gifty might use to rest her feet on while she's sewing. <gasps> Oops! Oh, I guess I gave away who my gifty was. I don't have a clue, but I have to run. See you later. Wait a minute. So Raspberry got the book from Orange, who got the book from Plum, who got the book from Lemon, who got the book from me. Did Raspberry give the book to me, or did Strawberry? And what about Mr. Longface? Oh, I forgot about Mr. Longface. This is very complicated. I can't believe no one liked my gift. I know I did. Strawberry? Oh. Don't look, don't look! Oh, I'm sorry, Strawberry. I guess I spoiled your secret. Don't worry, you're not my secret giftee. It's Mr. Longface. But Strawberry, hibiscus makes your nose itch. Achoo! I know, but it's not a gift for me. Mr. Longface has been wanting one for the entrance to his club, and I just knew it would be the perfect gift for him. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. What's the matter, Blueberry? You seem kind of sad. You, um, didn't happen to get a big gift that was a big book that you didn't like big time. Excuse me? No one liked my first frost gift. See, I had this book on sorting books that I thought was great, so I gave it to Lemon after wrapping it up all in yellow paper and yellow bow. And then Raspberry gave it to me with blue wrapping paper on it and a blue bow. Unless it was Mr. Longface, but I don't think it was. So no one liked my gift. I'm so sorry, Blueberry. A book is a wonderful gift. That's what I thought. But maybe if it's for Lemon, it should be a book about something she likes. Like watercolor painting or skin care. You know how much Lemon likes those things. Oh. Oh. You're right, Strawberry. 
I was thinking about what kind of gift I would like, not lemon. Not very first frost of me. You know, I know a book Lemon would like. I better get it wrapped and give it to her right now. Well, I'm glad that's settled. <laughs> I better get this to Mr. Longface right now. Hi, Blueberry. Come back to let me finish your hair? Um, no, Lemon. Uh, I know this is supposed to be secret, but I need to give this gift to you in person and explain why. But what for? It's for First Frost. But, uh, uh, I already got a secret gift. I know. I gave it to you. But it wasn't a secret gift that you would like. It was something I would like. So here's a secret gift I think you'll like. Oh, Blueberry! The very big book of bountiful braiding. Just what I always wanted. That's the perfect First Frost gift for me. <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? Uh-oh, I just realized I didn't give Plum the perfect first frost gift. I just gave her the book you gave me. I know. Sorry, Blueberry. Wait! I have just the thing for Plum. you wouldn't like it as much as the very big book on book sorting. This gift is even better because it shows me that you really thought about what I like, something only a friend would know. <laughs> Isn't this great? Oh, wonderful! <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, that's lovely, Raspberry. And look how high you can go, Orange. And those shoes really make you dance even better, Plum. Oh, I can't wait oh, either. Is great. <laughs> uh -oh. Um, I know that this has been a strange first frost, and I just wanted to apologize for not thinking of my friend Lemon when I gave her a gift. And I want to apologize to Plum. And I want to apologize to Orange. Oh, and I want to apologize to Raspberry. Oh. And I want to apologize to Blueberry. Do you forgive me? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I know I'll always think about the person I'm going to give a gift to in the future and not myself. Me too! <laughs> now that's what I call a great first frost. Oh, but hey, Strawberry, you never showed us your secret gift. Yeah! yeah! A super duper apple masher! Just what I always wanted. Mr. Longface must have gotten it for you. And he doesn't even like applesauce. Aww, isn't that sweet? Oh, what a nice gift! And so thoughtful. He gave a gift he knew you needed and would love. Seems like we could learn something from Mr. Longface. Yeah, that's, 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 right. that's true. Achoo! Happy first frost, Miss Shortcake. Thank you so much for my apple masher, Mr. Longface. You're very well. But I thought it was a secret. Some gifts are so thoughtful, they can't be kept secret. And what did you get, Mr. Longface? I must admit that I've not received any gift at all. Did I do something wrong? Maybe there was some form I forgot to fill out. Hmm. Maybe you should check your hat and see if your name got accidentally left in there. My hat? Ahem. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> this is the best gift I could have gotten. And your smile is the best gift I could have gotten. Happy First Frost, everyone.
I just think for the grand opening of the marketplace, we need some grand entertainment. Oh, and not just grand, very grand. I got it. We could give a dance recital. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, something big! Something everyone will come to see. Something with star power. <laughs> you want a big star? Get Cherry Jam! Everybody else's. Only the biggest superstar in the whole very Vinny world. Hey, why don't we ask her? Ask her what? To sing at the grand opening. Oh, come on. I was just kidding. Yeah, why would the world's biggest music star want to sing for us? I don't know, but could it hurt to ask? So, won't you please consider our request. Signed, your most adoring fan. Incredibly adoring. Incredibly adoring fan. Blueberry Muffin. Well, looks all right to me. Then here it goes. I can't believe I just emailed Cherry Jam. If she even reads it, the biggest music star in the whole world is going to come all the way to Berry Bitty City and perform for us? I don't think so. Yeah, Raspberry's right. She probably gets a million emails a day. Why would she answer ours? You guys are not going to believe this. When they see the real friendship in you. When they see the real star shine in you. Oh, I'll never find the right ending. When they hear the real music in you. That's it! Sorry. 
sorry. I heard you singing and, well, the words just kind of came to me. Am I ever glad they did? Thank you. It's perfect. Would it be okay if I used your words in my song? Of course. I'm Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. This is Pupcake and Custard. Oh, so cute. And what's your name? Uh... Buttercup. Nice to meet you, Buttercup. Are you... Do you smell cherry blossoms? Oh, um, no. <laughs> I don't smell anything except strawberries. Uh, you were asking? Oh, uh, yes. I, I was going to ask if you're out here alone. Uh-huh. Just sort of driving through, and I've always wanted to have a picnic. You've never had a picnic before? Uh, well, no. Well, I'll let you enjoy. It was nice to meet you, Buttercup. Nice meeting you, too. Thank you for your help. Sure. Come on, guys. Back to the harvest. <laughs> Just like I hoped it would be. Cheers! <laughs> of the Cherry Jam Fan Club would like to extend a very big welcome to you and your entire entourage. No! <laughs> My entourage? You know, the people who go everywhere with you and wait on you hand and foot. Well, I kind of thought it'd be fun to kind of get away and come here on my own. I don't have an entourage with me. You do now! Uh, about Strawberry. Oh, shush. We're keeping you a secret until tomorrow. Come park over here. Here she comes! Make way for Cherry Jam! Cherry Jam! Superstar! Uh, excuse me? Miss Jam? Oh, no. Please, call me Cherry. The actual for real Cherry Jam wants me to call her by her first name? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just try to think of me as one of you. Excuse me, but why the sleeping bag? We thought you always sleep in your fabulous tour bus when you're away from home. Not this time. I was looking forward to, you know, sleeping under the stars. Huh? You mean, like a camp out? Exactly. A camp out. Oh, do we have the perfect camping spot for you? Uh, yeah, that's right. Just stay right here. Uh, relax, and we'll get it all ready for you. Yeah, let's go, girls. Oh, you're gonna love it! Why did you tell her that? We can't let her camp out. You know what she's used to? Five-star luxury. Six-star. If we let her sleep in some old sleeping bag, she'll never want to come back again. So, here's the plan. Okay, do you guys remember the article? Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Now, it's really not much. Probably not what you're used to. We hope it's comfortable enough for a star. A star of super magnitude. That means really, really big. Well, what do you think? It is really big, isn't it? Don't you want to see the inside? <laughs> of course. We copied your bedroom from your article. Bedroom of a star in very big glitz and glamour. Everything you have when you're at home has been duplicated here. Well, probably not exactly, but we did our best. <laughs> Thank you. It's... Very thoughtful of you. This is a camp out fit for a star. That's what my managers and my agents and my entourage would say. Ooh, her entourage! Well, see you in the morning. Just what I'd hoped for. Miss Jam? Cherry! 
Cherry? We brought you a little midnight snack. Cherry? Where could she be? <gasps> oh, no. Look! I guess she didn't like it. She didn't like it so much. She'd rather sleep outside. <sighs> we had our chance, and we failed. Oh, hi! Can you help me with these... Um... <laughs> what's going on? We need you to give the Grand Opening's guest star some information first. Guest star? Huh? Surprise! <laughs> Presenting... Cherry Jam! Your Cherry Jam? But you... you... <laughs> so that's why I smelled cherry blossoms when I first met you. Wow, you girls planned this? Oh, thank you. Our pleasure. <laughs> Here, quick. You don't want her to think we're just plain boring girls, do you? Well, we'll leave you to plan the grand opening. We have something we have to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Well, um, here. Please, sit down, Buttercup. Um, Miss Jam? Oh, no. Please, call me Cherry. I'm sorry, Strawberry. I didn't want to give away the surprise. <laughs> I understand. I probably wouldn't have believed you anyway. You look quite different in person. I just dress that way because it's what my fans want. Well, I'm a fan of yours. Oh. But I'm also a fan of people dressing how they like. And I like the way you look right now. And I like that. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's not really me. <laughs> not really me either. But don't tell. I won't tell a soul. <laughs> Mmm, that was the best sandwich I've ever had. Thanks, but you must have had better ones in Big Berry City. Nope. The best part, too, is being able to just relax without people snapping pictures of me. <sighs> it's so nice here. Well, can I show you where you're going to perform? Actually, the girls promised to take me out where I can do something I've always wanted to do. Something I never could do in the city with people following me everywhere. What's that? Take a walk all by myself and pick flowers. Oh, yes! Those big hothouse roses are your favorite. I read about it in Very Big Glitz and Glamour magazine. That's something my publicist made up. My real favorite flowers are buttercups. Hmm, uh, <laughs> of course. Does she like them? No. Aww. She doesn't like our flowers either. She doesn't like them so much. She'd rather settle for ordinary wildflowers. We had our chance and we failed. Better make sure I can find my way back. If we can't do something to impress her, she'll never come back. Hey, remember that article in Glitz and Glamour that said her favorite thing to do was have a boomberry pie party? Let's make her one that goes off like fireworks. Good idea. That's sure to leave an incredible impression. Come on, let's go to the cafe and start baking! Oh, she didn't even like the ones she picked. She ripped them up. Nothing's good enough for her. Come on, Orange. Yeah, come on, this is what we want. did I take? Hello? Help? Anyone? Hello? 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 
Uh, thank you, Cupcake, for rescuing me. Oh, I'm okay. I just lost my voice hollering for help. Boomberry pie party? Oh no! They can't know that I've lost my voice. They'll be so let down if I can't sing for the grand opening. She doesn't like us so much. She didn't even come to her own boomberry pie party. Refills? Anybody? If I have any more tea, I'm gonna float away. Maybe she didn't get our invitation? Maybe she's still in makeup? We better face facts. She knew it wouldn't be as good as she's used to, so she didn't bother. Well, should we? Might as well not let a perfectly good boomberry pie go to waste. <laughs> We put too many boomberries. Oh, failed again. Girls, the cherry gem you keep describing doesn't sound like the girl I met. We just wanted her to be our friend, for her to like us. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess we're not special enough. I think I have some more towels over at the marketplace. I'll be right back. Disturb getting my superstar beauty rest? <laughs> Cherry, it's me, Strawberry. Can we talk a minute? <gasps> <laughs> so, I called all of you here this morning because Cherry needs your help. She does? Our help? What happened? Is she okay? Yesterday, she lost her voice. Oh, oh that's Cherry. terrible! She's got most of it back, but still can't sing her high notes. So I'm to sing the high notes for her. And she wants you to be the musical and singing backup. Really? We get to perform with Cherry Jam? Uh-huh. <laughs> There's something else she wants. Very important. She'd ask you herself, but she needs to rest her voice. Anything! Whatever you name wants. anything for Cherry Jam. What is it? Well, all she really wants is to be your friend. But she wants to know if you'll treat her like a friend, not a superstar. Oh. <laughs> My. We really haven't been acting like friends. We've been acting like Bands. Who can help me paint the podium? I will! Let's go! Yeah, where are the paint? Let's, Let's get going! <laughs> Welcome to the Marketplace Grand Opening! <laughs> this could never have come together without all your help! And now, presenting for your musical enjoyment! <laughs> Cherry Jam and her friends!
Good morning, Postmaster. Oh, getting ready for your vacation, I see. Oh, feel the chill in that breeze. Yeah, not much summer left. We're trying to get going before it's over. Oh, I nearly forgot. Do you have anything for me today? Well, 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 well. <laughs> what have we here? Hmm. Now, that's either six dozen dried kidney beans or... The maracas I ordered last week! Thank you, Postmaster. These are for our trip. When we get to Berry Breezy Bay Resort, they're gonna know we arrived. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> well, have a wonderful trip, Ms. Pudding. Hi, Postmaster Bumblebee. Now, uh, what could it be that I'm forgetting? <laughs> could it be... this? <laughs> Delivery from Happy Pappy Snapapple Farm. Perfect! <laughs> Thank you. Now I can finish my snappy apple apple snacks. Would you like some? Oh, they're very good. Nope, can't. I'm on that new buttercup diet. <laughs> well, happy vacation. I'm so excited. It's like I'm there. <laughs> We're not there yet. We will be tomorrow. It's all I can think about. All I want to do is dance and dance. I can't wait to move into our perfect peach pink palace. <gasps> what do you think? I love it! And I'll be surfing those perfect azure waves. And me? I'm gonna be sunbathing under their perfect rows of coconut palms. And I am just gonna wanna sing! <laughs> Tropical paradise with blue skies It's better than a dream To dance by the sea Watching the waves all rolling by Come on girls, let's have some fun Let's dance all day under the sun Because we're sunshine girls Step your feet to the beat now Sunshine girls and Jump up, move to the groove Sway to the left Lotion check, swimsuits check, beach towels check, second set of beach towels for when the first set's wet check. Uh oh, wow, Orange, are you ever organized? Huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah, just the vacation checklist that I made. Whoa, look at you! I've hardly started packing, and already I've forgotten more than I can remember. Well, like I always say, you can never be too organized. I mean, what if we got all the way to Berry Breezy Bay Resort and forget something really important? Good point. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a copy of your checklist that I could borrow, would you? Just so happens that the first item on my list was to make copies of the list for everybody. That's so She's very nice. nice. Here you go. Orange's official list of everything we need to bring. I even made a list of all the lists I made. Organization, that's the key to a happy vacation. Well, we better get busy. We've got a big day tomorrow. See you later. Better hurry. Everybody ready to go? Everybody check and double check their lists? Yep, there's nothing to do now but wait for the butterfly bus. According to the schedule, it should be here. Punctuality, that's the key to a happy vacation. Uh, I think I'll practice napping on the beach. I think I'll practice my nifty new surf move. It's called... <sighs> the snooze. <laughs> <laughs> I hear something coming! Just the breeze. Oh, oh, is 
that it? Oh, guess not. Sorry, this letter was delayed by bad weather. It just arrived. Oh, it's from the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. We are happy that you will be visiting us <laughs> next year. What are these hotel rooms are? from now? We regret to inform you the resort has been closed early due to very, very breezy weather. It must be a joke. But look, there's more. This is no joke. Sorry. I really had my heart set on Berry Breezy Bay. I could almost feel that peach pink sand between my toes. <sighs> oh, oh, maybe we could go to the mountains instead. Except it's kind of breezier there. Uh, there must be other resorts. Yes, I'll start researching them. Oh, great idea. I bet we can find something just like Berry Breezy Bay. Um, I'm afraid that won't work. Summer is just about over. There's no time to plan a whole new trip. You. Trip. Yeah. <sighs> there aren't going to be any sand castles in the peach pink sand. No surfing those perfect azure waves. And no sunbathing under the perfect rows of coconut palms. But why not? Why not? Because the whole island is closed. Who says we have to go to the island? What are we gonna do? Bring the island here? Yep. Yeah, right. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> <laughs> if we can't go to the island, why don't we bring the island here? Do you know what she's talking about? Mm hmm. More or less. Mostly less. Here, let me show you. I'll build us a perfect copy of Very Breezy Bay Resort. With a beach and palms and sand castles. But where? Right here, on the shore of Very Bitty Lake. It'll be like we're really there. But it'll be our own place. A place where everyone in Very Bitty City can vacation. Someday, we could even have guests. Just like a real resort. I don't know, Orange. Do you think it's a bit ambitious? <laughs> yeah, it's maybe just a little itsy bitsy bit impractical, if not undoable. Sure, it's ambitious, impractical, undoable, and downright impossible. That's why I'm the one to make it happen. Just gonna take some good old fashioned hard work. Or sun shine cross. Do you really think she can pull this off? It's going to be a whole lot of work. Maybe she's bitten off more than she can chew. I sure don't want her to be disappointed. Maybe she really can make it happen if we help her. What do you say, girls? We yeah, can let's it happen do it together. Come on, guys. Let's get going. Can we help you, Orange? Well, let's see. Oh, why, yes, yes, you can. Lemon, you help Eric and Bloom with palms. Blueberry, we need chairs over there. Plum, strawberry, we need a tropical menu. Raspberry, you work with Eric and Bill on the sand. Cherry, you start learning. Eve, come! Eve, come! One down, 2,000 loads to go. Hmm. This is more red than peach pink. Berry Breezy Bay is famous for its peach pink sand. See? What if we try adding some pink grapefruit juice to it? That might make it pinker. Good thinking, Strawberry. You and Lemon can... <gasps> oh, no. Um, no, 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 Cherry! The chairs go over here. Not too bad, I think, if I do say so myself. Not bad, but not perfect. It has to look exactly like the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. They are famous for their exact replica sandcastle. Here, like this. But how do
How do I... I mean, how can I... It's no big deal. All you have to do is tear this down and start all over. That's perfect! Just the right size for transplanting our very bitty coconut palms. Um, where are our very bitty coconut palms? Coming right up! I don't know how bitty they are, though. My very bitty plant food is having a bit of trouble trying to bitty ice these big boys. How much trouble? Uh, let's just say they're smaller than big, but bigger than bitty. Uh, but which could be good, depending. Depending on what? On how much shade you want. Let's bring one of them out! The smallest one, please! <laughs> Too much shade. I agree. Just another day or so, and I'll be able to grow them to very bitty size. All right, send it back to the nursery. <laughs> oh no. Let's see. What's next? Hey, Orange. You want to have a look at this? Sure, Raspberry. Um, where is it? It, um, <laughs> uh, hmm, I, I could have sworn, but I, huh. Maybe we should try some lemonade. Well, that's very pretty. Oh, but it sure is starting to smell awful. Oh, no, 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 that's not it. It has to be exactly like the sand at Berry Breezy Bay. Or we won't be able to call this Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Okay, team, let's try the wind machine. No, no, I can barely feel that. I want it to be a very big breeze. Try it again. Put a little more oomph into it. <laughs> tried your very best. But it was a very big project. Hmm? What were you saying? Mm, the resort? All that work? Blown away? Remember? I figured out the problem. My first sketch was just plain wrong. I downloaded the plans for Berry Breezy Bay from the internet. Now I can make it exactly like the real thing. Of course, we're going to have to work really, really hard to build this. Teamwork. That's the key. Meet me in five minutes and I'll hand out your new assignments. She can't be serious. We can't build something like that. There's no way. She's just setting herself up for another disappointment. <sighs> I'll go talk with her. 19 and 20. Orange. Hi, Strawberry. Glad you came. You can help me start digging the foundation for the hotel. Cherry can help mix cement. Plum can put in the plumbing. Raspberry's got the window shades and wallpaper. Lemon can lay the floor. I'll do the roof. And Blueberry can... Blueberry can... Hey, where are Cherry and Plum and Raspberry and Lemon and Blueberry? We're on a tight schedule. They're, uh... Not coming. Why not? <gasps> What's wrong? Well, I think maybe you have the wrong blueprints. I do? <gasps> oh, no! Oh, for a minute there, I thought I'd made a mistake or something. Nope, these are the plans, all right. The plans they used to build the real resort. See? Every detail is exactly, precisely the same as on Berry Breezy Island. The beach, the hotel, the chairs, the palms. But what about these? Oh, those aren't...
aren't any good. Oh, I, I think they are. Oh, come on. Just look. The details are all off. See that beach? Way too small. And the chairs? They're in the wrong place. And don't you think this is the most important detail? Huh? What detail? This. Right here. That's us having fun, having a great vacation together. Isn't that what matters most? Well, but wouldn't it be more fun with a big pink beach like this? And real palm trees like these? And... Um, I think what makes it fun is us being together, having fun. Yeah. Come to think of it, I haven't been much fun. I guess I've been kind of bossy. We don't want to give up on helping you with your dream, but... You know, maybe we don't need a big pink beach. Maybe we don't need palm trees. What if we build a tropical paradise that's just right for us? <laughs> that sounds like a very good idea, Orange. And what if I try to have more fun building it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> hmm? And Raspberry, build any kind of sandcastle you want. Just have fun doing it. <laughs> oh, I have so this many is ideas. Be great. Come on, let's get going. exact shade of pink. Maybe the coconuts aren't in perfect rows, but mm, they taste great in these pies. Who needs the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel when we have beach bungalows just right for us? Maybe it isn't exactly like that other place, but this is better because we built it together. Orange, will you do the honors? I'd be happy to. My friends, tomorrow Vacation begins! Welcome to our very own Berry Pity Resort! <laughs> Beyond the Berry Breeze, an island waits for me. Tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea, watching the waves all rolling.
turned out pretty good, don't you think? It's paradise, Orange. <laughs> Our very own tropical paradise. Because we're together, being with friends. That's the key. Yee-haw! <laughs>